So this is Mariette Abrahams, Nutrigenomics Dietitian and Nutrition Business Consultant. And today I want to talk to you about the difference between nutrigenomics and personalized nutrition. So nutrigenomics is a scientific field that forms part of the overarching field called nutritional genomics. And nutrigenomics is used quite often as a short version of the term nutritional genomics. And it's also sometimes used uh, synonymously with personalized nutrition. And today, I really want to uh, explain to you the difference between the two. So let's start with nutritional genomics. So this is the overarching terms that covers the fields of nutrigenomics, which studies how our dietary uh, factors or environmental factors interact with our genes. Also, nutrigenetics is the field that studies how our genetic makeup influences or affects how we metabolize or utilize nutrients. And Epigenetics studies the switching on and switching off of genes without there being a change in the DNA structure. So it's all really um, exciting, but personalized nutrition, however, it has been practiced for a very, very long time, um, especially by dietitians. And this really is where you take a person's uh, sex, their age, their medical condition, uh, biomarkers, for example, and personalize their diet or tailor their diet according to what it is that they need. So personalized nutrition, in essence, has been around for a long time. However, now that we use this uh, genetic information in this genomics era, it's more suitable to call it uh, gene-based personalized nutrition. But as I said, it's quite often used with nutrigenomics synonymously. So really the goal of the field of nutritional genomics is for us to be able to know which genes have an impact on how we use nutrients, but also how we can use this genetic information to tailor diets uh, for an individual people. And the, the aim really, therefore, um, is to delay or prevent the onset of chronic diseases and also to promote health, in essence. So it's really, really exciting in terms of the field of nutrition because we are now moving away from this one-size-fits-all approach to a more personalized approach. And we will also be able to identify who needs more uh, intensive nutritional intervention, for example. And in terms of research, uh, obviously now we need to take into consideration the diet, uh, the lifestyle factors, uh, genetics, all wrapped in one uh, to see if really the research is finding what it really is finding. In terms of practitioners, it's also very exciting because now we have to learn uh, all about genomics and genetics as well. And also we have to learn how to integrate this knowledge into our clinical practice, uh, in, 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 in our specializations especially, um, to advance uh, both the profession, um, but also in terms of meeting the consumer demands for how we can use this genetic information um, to provide personalized nutrition services. So what is so exciting about the field? Well, first of all, um, it's new knowledge. As I said, we are learning new things all the time. Uh, lots of new research coming out all the time. Uh, sometimes it's quite difficult to stay up to date with everything that's happening. Um, but also, therefore, we are expanding our skill set. Uh, and therefore, that will also create new job opportunities. And we are really now truly moving uh, from this uh, one size fits all uh, to a personalized approach, as I mentioned, but also from prevention, uh, from disease care rather to prevention, prevention care. Um, and, and lastly, uh, we are now part of this genomics era, and that is what our generation will be known for. So the question really is, what are you doing about it? It is a really exciting time. It's time to read up. It's time to learn up. Uh, and it's really exciting. So if you have any comments about this video, then please leave me comments down below. If you like this video, please press the like button or subscribe to my channel. I also have a weekly newsletter, um, lots more uh, videos to come on the topic. So I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.